on gifts. This is the oldest trick ever, but it helps out so freaking much, you guys. My boyfriend and I go half all the time on other people's birthdays. That's like the only holidays we actually celebrate with a gift. Now, when it comes to like Christmas and stuff, we try our best to just bring like a meal or something that people can eat instead of bringing gifts all the time for every holiday because you're gonna go broke. There's too many holidays in the year to be giving out money all the time. So obviously we do birthdays, but that's not everybody. Okay, everybody's different. And when it comes to that time to give out a gift, we do go half. And the same thing for me and my sisters. We have gone half for so many gifts in the past and now. We'll either go half for my mother on a like Netflix gift card that can last her two or three years. Um, anything, like an Amazon gift card. We usually do gift cards because it's like the best thing to go half on. Um, instead of having a bunch of gift cards from everybody, you can have one giant gift card to give to that certain person. I also will say this, it does create less waste, saves you money, and it's easier to get a gift for somebody because I don't know if you guys ever felt confused on what to get somebody because you're the only one thinking about it, but if you have like two brains, three brains thinking about a gift, to save yourself some time because someone out of those three people is gonna think of like all right this is what we should spend our money on and go half and that's it so two brains is always better than one or three so it's a win-win situation in the saving money aspect um, saving creating less waste and also thinking less <laughs> it creates less stress I should say take care of your things now this may sound like a no-brainer I know we are adults, most of us are adults watching this video, and we've heard our parents in the past saying, take care of your things, money doesn't grow on trees. Well, it's true. If you take care of the items that you have, I'm a prime example of this, I have taken care of everything that I've ever owned, except for my old cars, that was, that's a whole other story. But um, my camera, the camera that I'm filming on right now, I have had since 2018 when I first kind of, well, a year after I started this channel. Because those of you that have been here for a while know that I was filming for an entire year on my iPhone 6. So I did purchase a camera and I've taken good care of it ever since, including the $15 mic that is attached to the top. I've had that since then as well. So I made sure that I purchased a nice camera bag and a bag for that mic so it doesn't get ruined. We are heading into 2023 and this camera is doing perfectly fine. It's gonna save me money in the long run because if I'm not taking care of this camera and then say it drops, if it's not in its case, I'll have to dish out money, another six, $900 to purchase a camera that I didn't really need to buy. And the same thing goes for those cars. Listen, I was that kind of person back then when I was like 18, 19, 20, when I had my, I mean, I had a few cars, let's be honest. I've had about 10 or 12 around there. I've had a lot of beaters and I purchased all of them off of Craigslist for like 600 bucks. So that was back in the day when you were able to find a car for like $600 or like $800. Yeah, those were the days. But with all that being said, I never ever took care of them. I would wash them, do not get me wrong. Washing was like my top priority because I like things to be clean, but I never did oil changes. I never did a tune up. I never did any of the maintenance that needed to be done. Therefore, you guessed it, most of those cars just died, completely died. When you wait too long to fix something in your car then something else goes. And by the time you want to bring it to a mechanic, you have like a two, three thousand dollar bill because you waited too long to fix that one thing and now it's like 10 things that need to be fixed. When in reality, I could have just taken care of the cars that I had and I probably wouldn't even have to purchase all the cars that I did because I would have just fixed the one that I, the main one that I had and there probably would be less problems if you just take care of your things, which helps you save money at the end because you're not dishing out extra money to replace that item or to fix it so yeah that's something to keep in mind if you are that type of person that is always busy you have your airpods out of the case you lose them you're on your third pair of airpods my boyfriend's guilty of this now's the time to take care of your stuff because if you do not like i said you're going to be wasting money that's money coming out of your pocket to purchase something that you already had 
you just didn't take care of it. Makeup, skincare, you know, all that stuff. I understand it's fun. Trust me, you guys. I used to be addicted to makeup. And I was really getting into skincare as well back in 2020 when all we were doing was sitting at home. But I will say this, less is more, especially when you're trying to save money. There's a lot of products out there that you do not need for your hair, for your skin, for makeup. There's a lot of products you do not necessarily need. You may think you need because advertisement is pretty damn good these days, but trust me, you do not need it. The smaller your routine is, the less money you have to spend in the long run. Now. For a little example, you guys know I always have them damn examples for you. I used to purchase the Briogeo, um, what was it? It was like the deep conditioner. I used to purchase that all the time and I loved it. I used to purchase also the Moroccan, this like comes in like a green bottle. I'll have a picture here of it. Um, those like deep conditioners I used to purchase and I felt like, oh nope, I need them. My hair needs them. But in reality, those were like 30 to $40 for a tub, like a small tub, like that size. And I found an alternative, a way, way cheaper alternative. First of all, you don't need to do a hair mask twice a week. I only do a hair mask, I wanna say like two times a month. Everybody's hair is different, I will say that, but for my hair type, it, I mean I have not, this is like three day old hair. Um, for my hair type, what I decided to do was go the natural route which is using a fresh aloe leaf at the store, and it's a dollar. It's a dollar for one aloe leaf. I cut it into threes, soak it in water. A lot of you guys are sick of hearing this. I've talked about it so many times, but that is what I've been using for years now. And as you guys can see, like my hair is fine, perfectly fine. It's actually better than when I was spending all that money on unnecessary hair products. Same thing goes for makeup. I used to spend so much money on makeup and now I don't wear anything. <laughs> Again, everybody's different with that. I don't have a lick of makeup on. I don't spend any money on that. Obviously I have, um, what's it called? Like lip balm, a chapstick and, that, and that's about it. Like I don't really spend money on makeup and that has saved me so much freaking money for the time being. Obviously, well, as we get older, our feelings change and we want to dabble into those items again. But as of right now, I'm being frugal with you guys and I'm going the natural route. So like I said in the beginning, decreasing your size of items you do not need is going to save you money because that's one or two less things that you need to purchase next month. Return the things you don't like or need. This is huge. I am guilty of not returning things in the past. When I lived on my own, I used to order things from Amazon, and if it didn't work out for me, I would give it away instead of returning it and getting my money back. I didn't realize how much money I was actually wasting until I finally realized. So again, it's just another thing to think about. You order something off the line, or even if you go to the store and like try on an outfit at home, because I know some places don't let you try on outfits. If you're not feeling it anymore, bring it back save your receipts make sure you ask the cashier what's the return policy because that is going to get you your money back which can go back into your savings it's as simple as that buy frozen vegetables instead of fresh all the time this is something that i started doing last year um you guys know food stores is outrageous the prices are just horrible especially where i live um I, we do not buy mangoes. There's like certain things we do not buy fresh anymore because it's just too damn pricey unless it's in season. Um, but when it comes to like broccoli, cauliflower, asparagus, squash, like those are the things that we purchase frozen because one, it's a lot cheaper and two, it lasts 10 times longer than fresh produce. So if you ever come home with a bag of fresh produce and there was like a ticking time bomb on the freshness of that fresh produce. I don't know if you guys feel this way, but that's how I feel. I feel like when, when I used to come home with fresh broccoli or cauliflower or even asparagus, I'm like, all right, I need to use this up within like this week 
because I know it's gonna go bad. So now what I do in order to save money is I buy a giant bag, like it's probably like this big, and it's of broccoli, and there's another bag like that's all mixed with carrots, cauliflower, and broccoli, um, sweet potatoes, all of that stuff is frozen in our freezer. It's usually like four to five bucks a bag, and that bag will last us two to three months. No joke. It's usually around like five to six bucks per bag, sometimes seven, depending if the prices went up again. But it's not that bad because they are family value bags. And like I said, it's just me and my boyfriend. And those frozen vegetables last us, I wanna say like over a month, probably two months to be honest with you guys. And we eat vegetables every day. Ever since we started to get into this healthier lifestyle, we make sure that all of our meals have a nice decent size of vegetables so I make sure i put enough cauliflower broccoli all that good stuff and obviously frozen vegetables do not lose their taste all i do to unfreeze them is i just boil some hot water put them in there and then take them out i drain them out and it's fine like there's no problem with it and they don't even get that soggy if you guys want me to show you how i do my frozen food then let me know i'll show it in a vlog but yeah, frozen vegetables, frozen fruit, they're gonna save you a ton of money, trust me. Also, for a little side note, um, I learned this from my mother-in-law, she's such an amazing woman. Um, she realized like that the platano was going bad really fast, and I realized that too, so that's why I wasn't buying as much. And she decided to cut them up and freeze them. Obviously take the peel off, cut them up, put them in a uh, bag, Ziploc bag, reusable bag, whatever you use, put it in the freezer and that's it. Like we've had platano in the freezer for like the entire summer. It was in there, it was in a giant, giant bag, I'm not kidding, it was like this big and we ate that all summer long. Didn't have to buy not one platano because it was frozen and it never went bad. So. so there is some, some fresh produce, if you do find it on sale, you can freeze it. So that's a nice little hack if you guys want to try it out. Anyways, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what is your favorite frugal saving tip or your frugal hack. Let me know down below. I'm always looking for more ways to save money. Always trying to take things out of my budget so we can save more money. So on that note, you guys, I will catch you in the next video.